welcome to the finest supper club in the world, the Café de Paris. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you tonight your host, Sir Timothy Aykroyd. Max Miller can't be here tonight. Uh, he's uh, in Savile Row, police station. At the two signs of the gates of the Peter, the first sign reads, Q here, all men henpecked by your wives. The second sign reads, Q here, all men not henpecked by your wives. St. Peter came along the next morning. There was a long queue outside the first sign, a solitary man by the second sign. St. Peter went over to him and said, what are you doing queuing here? The chap said, I don't know, the wife told me to. <laughs> so, enough of these uh, frivolities. As I know and you know, from Venus to Juno, right down to La Damo Camellia. This glamour, it seems, is the substance of dreams to the most imperceptive perceiver. And what a better city to enjoy this unique experience than in anywhere else in the world is the city of London. And what better place than this legendary Café of Paris where the Prince of Wales dines often with Mrs. Simpson and Hollywood celebrities misbehave and dance the night away. We are here to enjoy a fabulous night of fine food, friendship and sensational music. We are also here, of course, to raise money for a most worthy cause. EB is an awful genetic skin condition. In its worst form, this debilitating condition can cause wounds and excruciating pain for the sufferers. There is no cure at the moment, but work is being done by many, many hard-working people. And there is hope. Hope from the love of those who care and support for the sufferers and hope for this cure. And there is something you can do to help make their lives better. Better for those who can't enjoy the freedom and frivolity that we can daily. Tonight's ball was the brainchild of Detective Chief Superintendent David Clark of the City of London Police. He was very touched, David, by this cause and earlier this year decided to try and raise some money for them. And they raised over five and a half thousand pounds. And tonight the challenge, please, is to beat that sum. And to open the evening with a brand new tune that we know is going to be a worldwide hit, please give a warm welcome to the Cufflinks. In the olden days, a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking. Now heaven knows anything goes. Two who once knew better words Now only use for letter words Writing prose Anything goes Two who once knew better words Now only use for letter words Writing prose Anything goes Get ready to take to the floor With a few dance lessons from our Broadway babies As we welcome the most fun The most frivolous dance band Of the 1930s in Britain tonight the Charleston Charlies! Well, I just got an invitation through the mail. Your presence requested this evening, it's all a top hat, white tie, and tails. Nothing now could take the wind out of my sail. Because I'm invited to step out this evening, it's all a top hat, white tie, and tails. £1,245. £700 for that then. £700, any advance on £700? For this wonderful silver brooch. Going, going, gone. Thank you very much. £145, any more? £145, £155, you're bringing in yourself, sir. £155, very good. So we'd like to see more of that £155. Any advance on £155? Almost, thank you very much, sir. 600 in front. 600. Thank you very much, sir. 100 pounds on my left, 100 pounds on my left, 200, 300, 400, 500. Yes, 500 pounds here. Thank you. 500. Any advance of 500? Uh, 600 to my left. Thank you. 500 to my right. 600 in front. 700. Thank you very much. 1,000 pounds on my left. Thank you all very much. And I would just like you while I'm here to uh, put your hands together for. Uh, one man in particular who's made this all possible and worked incredibly hard uh, to make it an evening for you and, of course, for Deborah, and that is 
David Clark. Thank you very much. There is uh, research going on at St. Thomas's Hospital, and with your help tonight uh, and your presence, we can help encourage that uh, continued research into this appalling illness. <laughs> Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky, stormy weather. Since my man and I ain't together, keeps raining all the time. Life is bad. Together, I'm weary all the time.